My name is Kelly Copeland, and I am blessed to be the daughter of Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. I mean, when we were young, they were just learning how to watch over their words and how to make good confessions. And they were learning that the word could be counted on, that Jesus was his word and that the Word of God had integrity that you could base your whole life on. But you know, I watched them believe God for everything. They would, we would find a scripture in the Word whenever there was a need, when there was a sickness, when there was a financial need, when there was a desire. They never said to me, we can't afford that. I didn't realize that until years later when I realized that the outlandish things that I would want, a horse or whatever it was that I would have a desire for, they would always say, that's a great faith project. We'll agree with you. And so they taught us not only the language of faith, but the actions of faith. They taught us to look in the word for every answer. And I, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that that was my root, that that's, still today the root in him that I have and knowing that whatever you see in the word that's the truth last 10 years I hit the ground pretty hard my marriage uh, fell apart right there at the Southwest Believers Convention but you know life happens I've had people say to me why should I listen to you about relationships when you've been divorced and you've been this and you've been that? And you know, my response, I never make it directly, just up here in my head. I say, well, you know, you don't have to. It doesn't matter to me if you listen to me or not. But I'll tell you what I've learned, if you care to listen. I've learned that Jesus can be trusted. I've learned that His Word can be trusted. And then I've raised my children by His grace. He saved them. I've had a couple of them at death's door and He raised them up because I stood on the word that He gave me. And He's always been faithful. And He saved me. And in that time when even the last few years, I realized if I don't know I need a Savior, then He can't really save me. But I started just realizing, I need a Savior every day. I'm not so full that I'm full enough. I'm not so in His presence that I can't come closer. And I'm not so full of His Word that I don't need more. And His goodness should be proclaimed all day, every day, that Jesus is Lord.